There's one command that's more distinct than all others because it is the most important command. Puck. Arc. Crochet. Dog training commands feel almost like magic. I give a word and the dog, ah, see, does the behavior that I want. But we can't have a dog who does commands just while I'm speaking in normal conversation, couche, or a dog who listens to other people when they give commands. So today we answer your most common questions about dog training commands, and we give you the top three rules to choose your own. There are three rules that we use in choosing our command words. Couche. The first is that we don't use words or phrases that we use in everyday life. Upo. This keeps their association strong and prevents them from being watered down. Couche. It also allows me to speak freely, even in a training scenario, and he can discern between me just speaking and commands. Upo. This is the main reason my commands are not in English. Ah, see. And the ones that are in English, couche, I say completely differently. Upo, my command for a sit front is the word here, here, here. But I don't say it like that because that's how I say it in every day. But when I say here, comes to a sit front and he's a poop pop. Puck, poop pop. God, oh, crud. Poop pop. Puck, butches. The second rule is that our command words need to be distinct, meaning they sound different. So we can't have one word be plop and another command be bop. So he has to be able to tell the difference even though he is staring at a target. Before we get to the third rule, we're gonna show you our three dog fetch game. Oh my God, it's slobbery. What did I do this? And some tricks with all of them. Puck. Hey. Oh, shit. Us. Puck. Oh. Come on, poopy. Oh, Us. Puck. Oh. 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 I call this my triple fetch game. Hey. Bang. I call each dog up with their informal recall and toss the toy for them. Pop pop. Commands with all of them is mostly about fun, but also about generalization. This is a great option if I've had an insanely busy couple of days and work is piling up. Bang. Or their training has just been really intense and I want to give them a session to just kind of relax and have fun. Oh yeah. Whoop. The third rule is that they need to be precise and memorable. I have to know what my commands are and be able to say them in the heat of training. <laughs> when she's going nuts on a thing, thing. All right, enough. I can say my command to make her stop and go back to being sweet girl and I remember it. But I'm not saying hacha. <laughs> I'm not saying enough, she's not stopping, but when I go, hard enough, she's like, I'm just dang. My center heel command this is opie, but she's not moving. Opie. I tried to not move so that you could, I tried to let her move first so you could see it was actually my voice and not my body movement coming forward was, that got her to move. Ah, see. Again, my command over here is the word Fuss, the German word Fuss. And I'm not saying it perfectly like a German would, but Fuss. It's not saying it like that. 
that gets her to move and go into the command because she's dang. People ask, why do I choose certain words? And a lot of times it's just because it sounds fun or I want to be cool like my mentor Nino at STS Canine. I stole just from him. Oh, it's just dang. Oh, yeah, dang. Us. Because if you're not having fun, why are you doing it? There's one command that's more distinct than all others because it is the most important command. Buck. Buck. That is my recall. The rolling A in the back of my throat is so distinct they can hear it anywhere, even in a crowded, noisy environment. So when called, he moves like a poop pup. Why? Because he's just some kind of poop pup. <laughs> And that is the recall. Poop up. Ooh, ah, yeah, poop up. Hey, poop up. Oh, yeah. Us. The same sound is used for Magnus. Magnus. Oh, yeah. Hey, Magna. Magna. Magna, 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 yeah, up, Magna, 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 hey Magna, oh hey Magna, hey Magna, hey Magna, but just, oh, hey Magna, hey Magna, hey Magna. Oh, hey, man, nah. Us. Upo. Pak. Man, nah. Man, nah. Oh. Hot Butchers. Oh, man, nah. Man, nah. Man, nah. Man, nah. Man, nah. Man, nah. Us. Oh, oh, golly, you got me on that one. A common misconception is that German shepherds need German commands and Dutch dogs need Dutch commands. But it doesn't matter because dogs don't speak language. Another common question is will my dogs listen to other people's commands? And even if you know the commands, they don't care because the only reason this boy is listening to me, but it's because uh, I have something he wants, or us. I've tricked him into thinking that letting go is gonna restart the fun. But, oh, Most people think I train my canines in a different language so that people can't command them. Let's test that. I gave him a list of my training commands and told him I'd give him $100 if Kaladin listens to him. Boost. What does that mean? Uh, that's his heel command. Oh, I see. To sin. Follow it. There you go. You can see I intimidate him so much. I'll s we have three languages that we use. Why? Well, because it's fun. Just, that means absolutely nothing. Here. That's English. Oh, you thought I was going to have him. Oh. That's a word that kind of means something. And that is Dutch. Boopy. Boopy. Us. We also use. Ooh. Puss. German. Circle. Whoop. English. Puck. And some more Dutch. Us. And another German. Whoopo. Completely made up word. Puck. The poop pup is made up too. You. The poop up, I said you're a figment of my imagination. I'll...